Hi there, Mr. H here, and welcome to a special video where we are talking about the components of a computer. Now, we're going to go into some detail, and I'm going to be showing you each and every component that I possibly can to help you get a good understanding of this. So, who is today's video for? Well, whether you are a student at school in grade 10, 11, or 12, and you're taking the subject of CAT, this is for you. Taking IT, grade 10, 11, and 12, this video is for you. And even for those who've never done CAT at school, but you just want to learn a little bit more and understand more about the components in the PC, this is for you. Now let's start with the basics. When we talk about a computer, generally some of us are thinking of just that tower, that, that box, you know, that thing. And that is called the system unit. And here is one right here in front of your eyes. So there you can see this is the front of the system unit. There you can see this is the internals. And at the moment there's nothing there, but I'm just showing you the case or the tower itself. You can see this is usually where the ports will stick out. This is where our power supply is. And then we've even got a few ports on top there as well. Okay, so the very first <coughs> component is the system unit. And why is this important? This is important because all the other components, your motherboard, your hard drive, your CPU, um, all those things go into this case. Okay, but remember, we call this the system unit. Right, so there we've now put the plate in at the back. Remember I said to you that those ports are going to show there. So there you can see for the sound card at the bottom. There you can see others that are already labeled. That's for your network. USB, USB, HDMI, and you can see all of them in there. And that is still part of our system unit. So to understand all these components, we want to go to the very heart of the computer. And for that, we're going to quickly look at the motherboard. Now the motherboard is our main circuit board of the computer and here you can see here is a nice modern motherboard. You see all the different slots on there. You see over there all our ports that we'll usually find lined up like that at the back of the PC. Now what does the motherboard do? Well it connects all the other devices inside and allows them to communicate with one another like the CPU, the memory, the hard drive, now, especially for those of you who are taking the subject of CAT, we need to know a few things on this motherboard. We need to be able to identify certain things on the motherboard. And especially for grade 12, I'm showing you this because these images are things that come up in your final and your prelim and your June theory papers. So let's go and have a closer look at our motherboard. I've got two here. This is a slightly older one. But I want you to see what the motherboard itself has on it. And these are the things that you are going to be asked to be able to identify. So let's have a look at this. First things first, let's look at our CPU socket. So this is the socket where your CPU is actually going to slot into. So I'm just going to open this here and you can see that covering. And I'm just going to lift that and there you can see there are the pins that the CPU is going to slot into. And remember, it's holding the brain of the computer. Okay, and this latch, this one over here, that keeps everything in place. So if I close that now, you can see it's keeping all of that in place. Make sure that that CPU is going nowhere. Speaking of which, here is a brand new i3 12th generation Intel Core CPU. So let me show you what's in the box. Seems like a bit of an unboxing video. Okay, so this is what comes in the box. There you can see Intel and we're just going to very nicely open this. There you can see this is my CPU fan, right? This is the heatsink. This is what keeps the CPU cool because as we know, Heat is the enemy of electronic components. So you can see how big this is. Okay, so I'm just going to put that to the side. 
I'm then going to open my box and there we go. There is our CPU. So let's just bear this in mind for a minute. I mean, here's your CPU, right? Look at the size of the CPU compared to the size of the fan, right? That is huge. Why? Because it needs to keep this processor cool. So let's have a look at those three components together. We have our motherboard, we then have our CPU that's going to go over there, and then we have our fan that's going to go on top of that. And I'll show you what it looks like when we actually put this into place. All right, so now we're gonna put the CPU in. And you can see, fits into that socket. We're gonna close the top now, put that down, clamp it down and in place so that that CPU is going nowhere. And now we've got our fan that's going to go on, that's gonna fit on top of that, making sure that our CPU is kept cool at all times. And so there we have our CPU fan nicely locked in place. Some of the other things we need to bear in mind on our motherboard is this battery, this one over here. This is known as our CMOS battery, okay? This is a small, as you can see, silver coin-shaped battery, and I don't want to take it out here, but you can see it over there. And this keeps the BIOS settings and it keeps the clock of the PC running even when the power is off. So that is our CMOS battery. Typical question if they show you that picture to ask you what that is. Another one on the motherboard that they typically ask is for you to identify where the RAM slots are or the memory slots. Now these are usually between two and four slots that you'll find in line with one another on the motherboard. Can you identify them? Can you see them? Yes, there they are. There you see one and two and I'll show you how the memory actually clips into that. I've got some RAM and I'm going to show you how this slots into onto the motherboard with our memory slot you see that over there we always want to make sure that the memory actually lines up with that and now we're just going to clip it into place you hear that sound there we go and it is in place not going anywhere let's put in another one so there we now have our motherboard our CPU's in, the fan is on top of that, that's all securely in place. And we've got two sticks of eight gigs of RAM. That means this machine's going to be running with 16 gigs of memory. While we are here, this port over here, this is where our motherboard gets power from the power supply. There's a connector that fits in here and that then gives this entire board power. Okay, so here the power supply is already fitted into the system unit and you can see exactly as I showed you with the one that was outside, there's all the cables and that's going to provide power to the motherboard, to the GPU, to everything inside our system unit over here. So please, that is what the power supply does. It takes old ESCOM's power, right, from the wall and that con converts that into current that the motherboard can actually handle and then it powers all those devices inside. The other ports we need to look at are these over here. These are our SATA ports and they are used for connecting um, you know, hard drives or SSDs and some newer boards also have M.2 slots which is actually this one over here, which is actually this one over here where you have a different hard drive that almost looks like your RAM that can slot in there. Then, as I mentioned before, at the back, we have our different ports, USB. This is for the old uh, PS2 keyboard and mouse. We've got our VGA connector. We've got HDMI. We've got USB 3 here as well, normal USB, our network card. So our built-in network card and our built-in sound card. And you can see this is all built into the motherboard. So folks, that is 
our motherboard and all the ports that you need to know about for any of your theory papers. So remember, this is the heart, this is the brains that performs all the calculations and processes and instructions from the software. Without it, the computer can't think.